Last weekend, Disney Plus dropped a brand new trailer for Doctor Who Season 1, but what does it actually show us? Okay, so like I mentioned, Disney Plus and also not long afterwards, the official Doctor Who YouTube channel dropped a full trailer for Doctor Who Season 1, and in this video, I'm going to be breaking down that trailer. But I did also do an initial reaction as soon as this trailer came out last weekend, so if you want to watch that, I'll make sure to have it linked down below. But let's just get straight into the breakdown. Give me the love Okay, so the trailer starts with this incredible opening shot of the TARDIS flying into Unit Tower, with the Doctor then exiting the doors saying, give me the loving. I've seen a lot of people speculating as to who he might be saying this to, but for me personally, I do think it is Rose, backed up by the shot that we see in the first trailer where he's hugging her, but it could honestly be Mel or Kate or anyone at Unit really, but I do personally think he is saying this to Rose, as it just sounds like something he'd more likely say to Rose, although I guess he's known Kate and Mel for a while as well, so it could be any of them. Where did he come from? I don't know, he sort of popped up at the right moment. And then he spoke about time travel. Ruby, do you want to know my secret? I have the whole universe at my fingertips. And I'm all on my own. I'd love it if you came with me. Who are you? I'm the doctor. Okay, so we then see a number of reused shots from the church on Ruby Road, which I guess makes sense as it means they can get people to watch that episode before this series comes out and before the new season starts, as that is also already on Disney Plus. But also because I assume a lot of the stuff that is set up in that story, particularly with Ruby and her being left at the church, is going to come up at some point in this season, which I'll also get to later on in this trailer. But on top of all this footage, there is what seems to be new dialogue with Ruby telling Carla about who the doctor is, which honestly could could happen at any point in the season and we also see a new shot of the TARDIS landing in Carla's flat alongside Cherry. We then see shots of the Doctor in a number of different outfits. One of these is the Doctor and Ruby in their 60s outfits from episode 2, The Devil's Chord, which is the Beatles episode, where they seem to be in some sort of void, very reminiscent of the Toymaker's Void, or the Toymaker's Realm, which could indicate some sort of connection between the Toymaker and Jinx Monsoon's character, which I've seen a lot of people speculating about. We also see the Doctor in this monk-like outfit, which honestly I have no idea which episode this could be from. It looks like he's probably on some sort of alien planet and this is how people dress there but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below but we also see him in his regency outfit on this sort of spaceship that we've seen before in the first trailer which is assumed to be Jonathan Groff's character's spaceship which I'll get into that more later on in this video but we also see a hologram of the 10th Doctor next to him which is from the episode The Next Doctor. I assume this is just one of those moments where they're going through what the Doctor used to look like maybe it's somebody who already knows him who's showing other people this or they're just scanning him and this is what's coming up and it's just showing his history and who he is but I don't think it's something that's specifically relevant to the 10th Doctor or David Tennant and this is 10 not 14 so I don't think it's got anything to do with the 14th Doctor. It's called the TARDIS. It's a time and space machine. Is it safe? No idea. <laughs> What if I change history by stepping on a butterfly? Well, that's not gonna happen, is it? Oh, what's wrong? We then see the Doctor explaining the TARDIS to Ruby and what it can do in what I assume is basically the first scene we're going to get of season one taking place immediately after the last scene we got in the church on Ruby Road as they're still in the same outfits and obviously that's the first time she enters the TARDIS and I assume when the Doctor asks where she wants to go first she's going to say to see the dinosaurs because we then see the Doctor and Ruby in those same outfits on a cliff top looking out at some dinosaurs. I've seen some people speculating as to whether we're going to see Silorians or anything like that but I personally don't think that's going to be the case because if this is from episode one which I think it is most of that episode seems to be taking place on some sort of space station or spaceship so I don't think the episode as a whole is going to take place with these dinosaurs I think it's just going to be either the pre-title sequence or just a little bit at the start of the episode where the doctor takes her on a first little adventure but during this sequence we do obviously get the butterfly effect gag where Ruby steps on a butterfly and it seems to change history now I don't think this is going to be a big deal that takes up the whole episode I think it's going to be solved pretty much immediately and it's just a little bit of a fun gag but I do think this whole thing with the butterfly effect could be setting up something to do with the butterfly effect happening later on down the series and this is just a fun little way to introduce that concept to the viewer and have it fresh in their mind which I'll get onto later on in this video. With all my adventures, never seen anything like this before. Oh my 
my Bridgerton? <laughs> this place is completely <laughs> mad. Okay, so here we see some shots of the Regency era episode, which I believe is episode six from my memory, with Indira Varma's character, the Duchess, who seems to be turning into some sort of bird-like alien creature. I do remember seeing a leak quite a while ago describing this episode and it having something to do with bird people, but luckily I don't remember anything else that was mentioned in that leak, so I haven't had the whole episode spoiled for me and I can't remember if it went into too much detail or not, but because this leak seems to be true, I'm not gonna look for it and talk about it in this video, but it definitely mentioned bird people in this episode, and so it's definitely true and I don't want to talk about it any further just in case it spoils anything. But we also see Jinx Monsoon's character with this old lady, which has been confirmed to be June Hudson, who was a costume designer, I believe, from Classic Who. I'm pretty sure she designed some of Tom Baker's outfits, possibly the famous scarf, but I could be wrong on that. So that's a nice little cameo. And we also see a shot from what is believed to be episode three, which is Stephen Moffat's episode, where we can see the Doctor stuck on a landmine, which myself and a lot of other people have speculated is going to be kind of taking up the whole episode, where the Doctor is stuck on a landmine and Ruby is going to be trying to get him off the landmine or help him deactivate the landmine or something like that. Now, this episode is rumoured to be titled Boom. At the time I'm recording this video, we don't know all the episode titles, but on the day this video should be coming out, we are going to be told what the episode titles are, presumably in some titles trailer, similar to the 60th anniversary specials. So when you're watching this, you might know if that episode is titled Boom or not, and if it is, that obviously lends some more credence to this idea. Things seem to be turning more and more supernatural. <laughs> No, don't be silly. There's no such thing as monsters. It's just creatures you haven't met yet. Okay, so we then see a shot from the episode The Devil's Chord, which is episode 2, the 60s Beatles episode, of what seems to be someone trapped in a drum kit. I'm presuming this is probably Ringo Starr trapped in his own drum kit, and maybe Jinx Monsoon's character traps the Beatles in their instruments throughout the whole episode, and I've seen a few other people speculate in that, but it could be someone else. But either way, it seems like Jinx Monsoon's character is trapping people in their musical instruments. We also see a shot from the same location where we saw that slug creature in the first trailer, but this time we see the shot of a woman next do the slug creature, which some people have speculated could be a younger version of Mrs. Flood. I'm not entirely sure what's led them to believe this. Maybe they just think she looks kind of like Mrs. Flood, and I guess it would maybe be the right time period. But let me know who you think this is. For me personally, I think it could just be a new character, a very minor character in the episode, but let me know what you think. We also hear Kate Stewart saying things seem to be turning more and more supernatural, which is obviously leading on from the Doctor invoking superstitions at the edge of the universe in Wild Blue Yonder, which led to the Toy Maker and the Goblins. And I also personally think this is going to be what's led to Jinx Monsoon's character, who, like I said earlier, might be similar to the Toy Maker, as well as the Bogeyman, which we also see in these shots in the trailer. I think it's possible that could be some sort of supernatural creature, especially going by the name, but it does also look like it could be some sort of alien because it's given very much Demogorgon vibes. And we also see the hooded figure who dropped Ruby off in the Church on Ruby Road, which is why I think we get some shots from the Church on Ruby Road in this trailer, as well as just to get people to watch that episode before the season comes out. I personally think this character looks like it could be Ruby, be, but some other people have speculated other things. It could also obviously be a brand new character, maybe Mrs. Flood, but some people have also speculated it could be the 13th Doctor, which I personally think is a ridiculous theory. But let me know who you think this is in the comments down below. There are powers beyond the universe so vast. The whole world could slide into the pit. This is what we're trying to stop. I'm still her mom. I need to know she'll be okay. You'll keep us safe? I will keep us safe. I promise. We then see this massive dust cloud sweeping over what seems to be London. This seems like it's going to be in the finale. I don't know exactly what it is, but to me, it's giving Galactus vibes, especially when we can see it taking over the planets from space as well. But let me know what you think this is in the comments down below. We also see a shot in Unit where we see more of a look at Rose and Lenny Rush's character, Morris. And we also see a shot of destroyed London with the Doctor and Ruby still in their 60s outfits from episode two. So I personally think this is related to the butterfly effect stuff we see earlier on which is from episode one and I personally think the short butterfly effect gag in episode one in the cold open or whatever in episode one is a little bit of a setup just to kind of plant the idea of the butterfly effect in the audience's mind to set up this moment in episode two or later on down the series potentially setting up the butterfly effect of if the Beatles didn't exist this is what earth would look like or something like that something along those lines but let me know what you think in the comments down below it's taken me all this time to, to change it to do. I'm gonna save the world. <laughs> 
Okay, so in a very short shot of the TARDIS being scanned in Unit HQ, we can see the initials S Triad on the screen behind it. Now, this is relating to the character Susan Triad, who's played by Susan Twist, who is a character we've seen a little bit of in some of the previous episodes, specifically at the start of Wild Blue Yonder as Mrs. Meridew, and as a woman heckling Ruby's band in the church on Ruby Road. So this is going to be a recurring character, possibly part of the mystery box that Russell C. Davies likes to do a lot. And we also know there is going to be a company called Triad Technologies, which she is likely going to be the CEO or founder of. But what's interesting about this is obviously with it only having her first name as an initial and it being S Triad, if you rearrange those letters, it does spell out TARDIS. So this could be some sort of indication as to who she is. A lot of people have speculated that this could be the meddling monk, as we know the meddling monk has a TARDIS. But I've also seen speculation that this could be hinting that Susan Triad is herself a TARDIS in humanoid form. If you want to know more about that, Philip Hawkins has done a great video breaking that down in a lot more detail than I want to go in here. So I'll make sure to have that linked in the description down below if you want to hear more about that theory. Everything is possible. Everything is possible. Time may change me. But I can trace time. Throughout this trailer, we also see a few shots of this dark room with a load of lights in it, and we also see it snowing sometimes. For me, this room is very reminiscent of the Danger Room from X-Men, which is kind of like a training room that has kind of like holograms, putting them into some virtual reality kind of situation where they can train for different missions they're about to go on, but I don't know if that's what this is. That's just kind of the vibe that it gives me. We also see the Doctor in his Regency outfit from Episode 6, saluting something in the sky, which has led a lot of people to speculate that Jonathan Groff's character in that episode is either a recast version of Captain Jack or a younger version of Captain Jack, which I do think is possible, but for me personally, I think it is a lot more likely if he does have anything to do with that, that he's just another time agent, but he could also just be a brand new character. But I do think it is still entirely possible that he could be a younger version of Captain Jack or a recast version of Captain Jack. For me personally, if it is one of those two, I think a younger version of Captain Jack is more likely and definitely justifies the recast a lot more. But like I said, it could just be a new character, so let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. We also see a shot of the Doctor and a load of people dancing in what seems to be Abbey Road Studios in the 60s episode. For me, I think this could be an indication that we are going to get a musical number in this episode, especially after the Church on Ruby Road with the Goblin song. And obviously Jinx Monsoon's character seems to be very musical in that episode as well, so maybe she's forcing the characters to do a musical number or something like that, but let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. And finally, we also see this shot of the TARDIS abandoned in what I believe is episode 4, maybe 5, where we've also seen a lot of shots of Ruby be on her own on this clifftop. For me, this is very reminiscent of what the Doctor was talking about with the TARDIS in Wild Blue Yonder, and I can't help but think Russell wrote those lines as kind of a setup to this episode, knowing that it was going to be an episode in season one when he was writing it. Funny, because I wonder where the TARDIS goes. Maybe it lands on some outcrop by the sea. There's a tribe and they worship it for a hundred years. Then they grow up and try to burn it. Then they get wise and they preserve it. Then they build a city all around. So the TARDIS is just a tiny little dot surrounded by it. Skyscrapers and monorails. Time passes and the city falls. We'll get swept away. And there's the TARDIS. Still on its outcrop by the sea. But let me know what you think this is going to be about, because besides that little hint in Wild Blue Yonder, I don't know what this could be about. I have previously speculated that maybe we're going to get a similar episode to like Turn Left or something like that, where the Doctor doesn't exist, or maybe he's trapped somewhere. But let me know what you think about that in the comments down below. Okay, so that's everything in this trailer that I felt like breaking down and really wanted to talk about. Obviously, there's going to be a few things I've missed. Let me know if you have any interesting theories in the comments down below. Like I mentioned earlier, we are meant to be getting another new trailer with the titles revealed on the day that this video is going out and I plan on making a video about that and possibly a trailer breakdown depending on what shots we get which I plan on putting out next weekend next Sunday so if you want to see that breakdown or that discussion of the titles next weekend subscribe to the channel and if you want to watch my initial reaction to this trailer I'll have that on screen now.